Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So today I'm getting direct TV. It is exciting. So if you hear some random drilling noises, sorry about that. I have my brother-in-law watching over them so that I can continue making videos. And let's see, what do we got going? No one's in a bad mood as of right now. We also changed the restrictions. See if we have any more sleeping owls or night night owls. We are getting plenty of food. No one's really working on construction, however. Make sure we are trying to only kill the big big game. And see we are still hauling things away let us make sure the animals have something to do keep the hauling almost everything has been hauled that can be hauled which is good news and we are still working on trying to get all this pastille and then after the plasteel, we will work on all the research. We have two research benches, two people that can work on research. Once the mining has been finished, and then we will get off of this planet. And we have two people who can work construction. One is hunting though, and one is cooking full time. And I believe our prisoner has died. Hmm. It's gonna be a hard one. I don't really like the structure of our base now that I look at it. It's not very organized. At least we're not using too much electricity and we can have everything on pretty much all day and all night the kill zone is on the top which isn't that great because if attacks are coming from the south sometimes they just wait in the bottom and don't really do anything and there we have our, all of our pigs working away we have the last few steels over here and holing to do on killing that muffalo hunt that as well how's the temperature doing could be better and we have a sniper rifle in here bunch of animals make sure they're all getting trained Seems like they are. Make sure the Labrador's not big enough. I think my favorite animals are probably the pigs in this game. It's actually my sister's favorite animal in general. She really wants a teacup pig as a pet. They're actually supposed to be really smart. Starting to get more plasteel. We can sell a lot of the wood and steel to uh, buy more plasteel. We also need to get the research done though. So we will try to mine all this out, all the plasteel we can. Once all the plasteel has been mined out, we'll get everyone working on research. And once all the research is done, we will be able to get out of this planet. So that is exciting. That is if we don't all die before then. I've also been playing on a pretty quick speed, but no worries.
five. Uh, we have some regular meals. Temperature's good. All these humans need to get butchered up though. It's been dead for 14 days. Still fresh though. Animals unrestricted, all following Mason. Animals being busy. Few more things to haul. We are getting quite a bit of meat, so probably don't need to hunt for a little bit, which is good. And then we can get two people working on getting the pastille. We have some construction getting done. Let's do butcher forever, human as well as animals. If we had the research, we could um, get this down, make these scythers. What is it? Electric smelting slags as well as these um, mechanoids make them into plasteel, but I think mining is probably the easiest bet for us. A few focusing on growing, construction. There's not too much construction. I think all the construction is actually done. Cook meals, do until we have 50. And everything but rotten. Okay. We got the food. We got everything hauled away. Except for these two items just down there. Bunch of animals hanging around. How many animals do we have actually? We have four Labradors. I think one of them is pregnant. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten little piggies running around. And there we go. We got some more mining to do. I should believe less people is easier to maintain, but having more people, you can just completely wipe the map. Like, I could get all of these trees cut down, we could get more people growing, we can get more people hunting. A few people would get in poor behaviors because you have to micromanage every single person a little bit more if you want everyone's moods to be better. The worst thing that can happen is a chain reaction of broken days, berserk people just because they're all in a bad mood at going off and just injuring everyone so then the next thing you have to do is start healing and using all your medicine and then if a huge breakout of like the flu or mal I think it's mal malaysia or something something breaks out where you have infections all around and no medicine and you're just waiting for a traitor to come in that's when you know you're Starting to get in some bad luck. Look at these pigs working hard. But yeah, let's uh, get one. Get, probably get how many research people can we have? Three people. So we'll get another research. Do we have any gold? We don't have any gold. Put it right there, I guess. Because if we had gold, we could um, make the research even faster by getting a multi-analyzer. Increases research speed, needs to be placed right next to the research bench. But no worries. 
We're gonna have the ship right here. Steel bench. The pros and cons to steel versus... Is that all human leather? No, a bunch of different leather. We have 330 human leather. How about human meat? 385, okay. The pros and cons to uh, steel versus wood is that wood is easily able to get um, just burned through fires. Fires can just wipe out all of your base if you're getting under attack and you don't have enough people to take out the fires quick enough. Then that's the reason you'd want steel. I personally believe that marble or granite or slate blocks are the best. They have good HP, 420, better than steel, which is 350, and steel is a very um, valuable resource. You need that for a lot of things, such as uh, building defenses, building certain um, equipment. And if you ever have a ship come and attack down, you want to build at least, like, f I would say eight turrets around it just to guarantee that you can kill it. Um, because if the mechanoids come out and you don't have enough people to just bum rush it right off the bat, you're most likely going to lose a few, a few good guys. Because they can just, they have just long range, they just have very powerful weapons. And it just takes a while to kill them. So better safe than sorry. Better to have a bunch of steel. Be able to get the power conduits all the way out there. And then surround it by about 8 turrets. 4 to 8 turrets. If you have a lot of people with guns, you can have like 4. I'd recommend 8 just to be on the safe side. And then you don't have to go and usually these... Um, uh, ships have a uh, psycho uh, make it psycho Jones and it causes everyone of the certain t and er all the colonists to have just a terrible headache just get in terrible mood so now we have a bunch of plus steel I think we have almost enough and then we can start doing full research yeah everyone's almost done mining is there any other mining that I have planned out? Just all the way down. Well, we can cancel that and only work on getting the plasteel. There's actually a lot more plasteel than I thought there was going to be here. So actually quite a big pocket, which is nice. These animals have been doing great work. I have a mad animal here. All the way in the south, though. I guess there are some pros and cons of having a very wide base. Or very narrow base. If the animals are all the way down here. Oh, take that back. We could put a wall here. And then we could have people still working on the outside. Alright, let's get Val. just a rabbit luckily and it's not like a wild pack of boar or wargs kill this hare come on you're like so close all right I give up Let's start working again I usually like getting them on good work schedules but it's just easier to, if you don't have to worry about it, if they they have the freedom to not have joy as a problem. Also, some tricks is to put patient at second, so that they put all their other priorities first before we going straight to bed and trying to heal up. Especially if it's like small things, like a ha hair by teeth, you know. He's not losing any blood, so he's fine. And we got 
Let's mute still. Starting to get low. Let's see if we can find some big game to hunt. Some alpacas over here. One alpaca. Ooh, some new, some ooze, ooze. Psychic drone. Everyone of the female gender winces in pain. See, things like that can really cause everything from getting going good to bad. To even worse if you don't deal with the problem. This one, you can't do anything. It's just a random event from Random Randy. We got some visitors. We could start kidnapping if we wanted. We we're hostile to three of the groups. Somehow we became friendly with these two. Probably released people. Few more things to mine. People are playing them with steel horseshoes. How's the hunting going, Val? Got the alpaca. Got a random dead hare. Let's see if we can get Mason out of here. Nope, he's about to get mauled by these ewes. Hopefully some of these animals can help him out before he goes down. Doesn't look like it. But one of the animals should help hopefully help him out. Got manhunters. Alright, let's get Val out here. Well, we got the turrets, so they should be downed. No need. No one's gonna rescue you. I'm gonna get Val to rescue you then. Not very good defenses as you see this deer got all the way there. Lacks a weapon. Where'd your gun go? Gun's over here. Well, we can make it so that you are no longer a hunter. You've lost your privilege to be a hunter. Get healed up. Got a combat supplier. Let's see. Could use more medicine. Medicine is always good. If we had more money, then we could get some better armor, start protecting our colonists a little bit better, but do not have that much money, sadly. How's everyone's uh, mining skills getting? They're improving, which is good. Maybe we should take this person off mining get him to start doing research full-time as well as him there we go we have three more things to get we have two people working on research so it's going by pretty fast, eh, relatively quick. But the timer did go off, so that will be the end of this episode. Probably by the next two or three episodes, we will be able to get off this planet and win the game. That is if we do not die before then. 
Until next time, this is Flare of Flare Nation, and bye bye